welcome to this lecture in the neural networks from scratch series first of all i want to really thank you for staying this far into this series uh, and it's great that you have watched the previous lectures hopefully uh, if not i highly encourage you to look at the previous lectures in this lecture it will be a milestone in our journey because we will be coding an entire forward pass in python today we have built all the building blocks which we need in the previous lecture in fact we have done these four things we have coded a neuron and i have put a tick mark here we have coded a layer and i have put a tick mark we have coded a bunch of layers we have stacked them together and we have also coded activation functions now we have all the ammunition which we need to code an entire forward pass in python as always uh, i share this jupyter notebook um in the video description and uh, you will find everything here coding our first neuron coding our first layer then uh, using numpy coding using a layer of neurons and batch of data um and then we even generated non linear training data and uh, we have two classes up till now we have the dense layer class and then we created a class for activation functions we created a class for relu and then we created a class for softmax so if you are directly starting with this lecture you can get started with this jupiter notebook which i'll be uploading in the description and you can run everything up till now today we will be covering this part where we will be uh, coding one entire forward pass in python without the loss function we will be looking at the loss function in the later lectures okay so let us look at what all we have and what we will code in today's lecture uh, let's say we have this neural network which has two inputs input 1 and input 2 they feed into a layer of three neurons the output of these three neurons feed into the output layer of three neurons and we have three outputs output 1 output 2 and output 3 remember our input is generated uh, from this spiral data set here like this so there are two attributes to each input x1 and x2 and if you plot all the points it looks like this don't worry about the color coding right now eventually we will be solving a classification problem where we will train our neural network to identify every input as in which class the input belongs whether it belongs to the red class whether it belongs to the green class or whether it belongs to the blue class so the output so let's say i give an input whose first attribute is input 1 and second attribute is input 2 so it will lie somewhere on this particular plot and based on these three outputs from the final neuron uh since i have a softmax activation i'll get the probabilities and i'll see which probability is highest whether it's red green or blue and that will be the answer for that particular input of course after the weights are optimized right now we have not even defined the loss function and we have not yet got into optimization but we are doing one entire forward pass here we will see how we get the outputs based on the inputs for random weights and random biases and these activation functions here so this uh, so remember that there are two layers the first layer will correspond to a first set of weights w1 and the second layer will correspond to the second set of weights w2 after uh, we get the outputs from the first layer we will apply a relu activation function and after we get the output from the last layer since we have a classification problem we will have the softmax activation function so there are actually four things going on here there is a layer 1 relu activation then layer 2 and the softmax activation and then we will get the output all what i have described up till now can also be written in a block representation like this input x1 feeds into the weight matrix then the output is the np dot dot x into w plus b1 this can also be written as x dot w1 plus b1 uh then we feed in feed this into the activation function which is relu the output after this second block is relu of x times w1 plus b1 and i'll be calling that as f1 
so then f1 is then fed into the weights of the second layer and the output from this will be f1 into w2 plus b2 uh, then this output will be fed into the softmax activation layer so the final output will be softmax of f1 into w2 plus b2 so essentially we will be doing four operations or uh, four mathematical calculations first is this dot product of x w1 and then addition of b1 second is applying the relu activation function third is the dot product between the output of the first layer and the weight matrices of the second layer and uh, fourth which is the final uh, final output is the softmax activation so i'm going to be writing four here so these are the four mathematical steps or mathematical operations which we will need to perform okay and uh, we'll perform them very strategically based on the classes which we have uh, defined in python so remember that we have defined a layer dense class what this class does is that it creates an instance of a layer so the first method in this class in it will take two arguments it will take inputs and it will take layers and it will initialize a random weight matrix and a zero bias matrix and then uh, the second method of this is a method which is called as forward and what this will do is that it will take it will do this first calculation it will take a dot product between the input and weights and then it will add the bias term to it in the code let me just scroll up to where the layer dense class has been defined okay so this is where the layer dense class has been defined as you can see it has two methods the init and the forward init takes two attributes inputs and neurons and assigns it to the instance which we have created and then it initializes the weights randomly using a gaussian distribution and uh, it initializes the biases to zero the second method actually gives the output of the layer and it takes a dot product between the inputs and weights and adds the biases exactly like this formula which we had seen over here so this is the first class we will implement the output of this class will be then fed to the relu because we want to apply the relu activation function to this output now remember that we have already written a class for the relu activation function over here i'm just going to take this on this side so that you can see this on the screen so this is the class for the relu activation function and i have a function called forward so what it does is that it takes a maximum of zero and whatever is inputted to it so essentially it just em employs the relu function on whatever is the input so then we'll be invoking this class and then the output of this the output of this will be fed into the second weight matrix uh, so i need to create a second layer dense class where again the two methods will be called one is for creating the initializing the weight and the bias matrix and then i'll take a dot product between the output of the earlier layer which is f1 here f1 and w2 and add the bias so this will be done by the second layer dense class and then the output of this will be fed as an input to the softmax class so let us look at the softmax class so here is the softmax class which we have defined in python what this does is that first it takes an exponent of all the values and then it divides by the summation so essentially let's say if you have three outputs right output one output two and output three it will do an exponent so it will take an exponent of output 1 o1 let's say and divide it by e raised to o1 plus e raised to o2 plus e raised to o3 so that way all the outputs will lie between 0 to 1 and they'll represent probabilities uh, exactly why we have this x is equal to 1 and keep dims equal to true has been explained in the previous lecture but for now as a basic intuition just remember that a soft pack just takes the exponent and divides by the exponent of all the outputs so this is the last class which we will be implementing so this is one forward class one forward pass in python based on this neural network which we have seen over here 
ओके सो नाउ लेट मी एक्चुअली शो यू हाउ दिस इज इम्प्लीमेंटेड इनिशियली वी टेक द डेटा सेट एंड वी हैव हंड्रेड सैम्पल्स इन दिस डेटा सेट सो द डेटा सेट विल एक्चुअली लुक समथिंग लाइक दिस एक्स इक्वल टू ईच 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 बैच हैज टू इनपुट्स एक्स वन एंड एक्स टू एंड देन वी कैन हैव हंड्रेड सच सो इट हैज एक्चुअली हंड्रेड रोज एंड इट हैज टू कॉलम्स सो दिस इज एक्स विच इज एज एन इनपुट टू द न्यूरल नेटवर्क uh and then here you can see we are creating the first layer with uh, two inputs and three neurons so this is the first layer which we have we are creating using the layer dense class so it will give us this output then uh, we are calling the activation here so currently we have not called dense one dot forward we are just creating the layer here we are creating the instance then we are creating an instance of the first activation we are here creating an instance of the second layer which has three inputs remember the second layer has three inputs because the layer preceding it has three neurons and then it has three weights so the second layer has been created like this and then finally we create an instance of the second activation function which is softmax and now we will do all the forward methods so first we call dense one dot forward what this will do is that it will return the dot product of uh, x into w1 plus b1 and then the output of this which is dense one dot output will be an input to the first activation function which is relu so up till now we have reached this stage where we have f1 which is a relu of x dot w1 plus b1 this is then fed into the second layer so second layer when we invoke dense two dot forward method it it takes an input as activation one dot output so that is very important so it takes the relu outputs as its input and then the output of this is fed as an input to the softmax activation layer which is the last layer uh, and then we take the final output of this so this is our output uh, and what the output shape will be is that remember for every batch we have three outputs so for the first batch we have three outputs uh, similarly there will be 100 batches right so there will be 100 rows and there will be three columns and remember the if you look at each row since we are employing the softmax activation the summation of all will has to sum to 1 because in each row every element now represents a probability of whether it belongs to the red class the green class or the blue class so here you can see i am printing out the first 5 rows so actually this output has 100 rows but i am printing out the first 5 rows over here and if you look at the first row and if you sum up the entries they will sum to 1 similarly for the second third fourth and even the fifth row if you look at each element and sum the elements in the fifth row they will all sum to 1 because they represent probabilities so this is how the uh, forward pass is implemented in python we just have written 8 to 10 lines of code and we have implemented one forward pass through this neural network and we have received outputs that's amazing right i hope you see why we need classes because we never ever once wrote the dot dot product here that has already been defined when the class has been written so we just need to write once and then any number of layers and any number of activation functions can be created so we have reached this stage of this particular series where we have done a forward pass so this is a big milestone we have not yet encoded the loss function so the outputs will need to pass through a loss function uh, which is the most important step in a neural network so we will be looking at that uh, from the next lecture where we will actually uh, find the loss for this particular classification problem So thank you so much and I look forward to seeing you in the next lecture